Al, tell us a little bit about the history of Savage. How far back do you want to go? We go back to 1894 with Arthur Savage, who was a prolific uh, inventor. And that kind of vein stays with us today, so we are very proud to be the, the key innovator in our, in our industry space, for sure. I always describe our culture as a family culture. Every employee here is treated as the same. And, you know, quite honestly, they are the most important people. You know, I'm very proud to every year hand out those 5, 10, 15, 20 year service awards. I always say it's the happiest day of uh, the year for me. So I started shooting competitively at a very young age, hunting from a very early age up in South Dakota. I can remember my dad pretending I was the dog and making me go in and flush pheasants, uh, you know, at six, seven, eight years old. So been been around the firearms and the outdoor market uh, my whole life. Savage is one of the iconic brands in the in the global firearms market. Well, here we are in the Savage factory. And today, we're going to start the building of our rifles. What are you going to build, Brad? An Impulse Mountain Hunter. Yes, sir. And I want to build a uh, Savage 110 Ultralight. Mate, tell us a little bit about your history here with the company. I've been with Savage now for 38 years. Um, I started off just pushing parts around, and as time went by, slowly worked my way up the ladder, got to where I am now. But the question is this, can I build a better gun than him? That's to be seen. All right, well, okay. let's get into it. All right, let's go. So here we have our Mountain Hunter Impulse in 6.5 Creedmoor. Yep. Well, I think I can do it. Let's see how I go. So we put this in the, in yep. the voice. So we have to make sure that matches up with the groove. Yep. Rotate it around, holding that in place. Yep. That one? Yep. Break that first one in there. Switch down. OK. Oh, that's easy. Oh, torque them up, that's right. Torqued up. We go to the trigger. So we've got to slide that in under there. Trigger in. Perfect. So now do we check the trigger pressure? Yep. Two pounds thin. Out of the factory. So now, stock. Pill abetted. There we have it. Thanks, Jimmy. How did it go, Jimmy? Went really good. There you fast go. Fast learner. Fast learner. See, fast learner. So there we go, the new mountain impulse hunter. Can't wait to shoot it. <laughs> I'm here with Jake. What are we going to build here, mate? So uh, 6.5 ultralight. It's the new proprietary camo, the Savage Woodland. So I grab the barrel. I do that with the barrel. Yes. And then I... Yep, hold this guy. Mark it in. Locked in, right? Simple. Bolt is in. So far, so good. All right, this is the thumb piece. That captures right there like so. Safety bar, very important. Is this the correct yes. way? Correct. Like so? Perfect. Righto. Good. That's good. Now, time to put that spring in. Uh, now, this was difficult. We got it. We got it. And the sear is going to go right over there. Perfect. Hold that there. There we go. Uh, that way? Either way. Like so. A little bit of time. All right, I'll close the bolt. All right. 2.75. Got that. Under here, like a top hat. Center it. Turn it. Turn it. Scoop the front first. Perfect. Turn it. Perfect. Perfect. Go 
just like that, yeah. Right, just like that. Hang on a minute. So here we are, Jake. We've just finished putting the Savage 110 Ultra uh, with the camo together. A lot more moving parts than the, than the Impulse with Brad. A lot more. Yeah. A lot more. I mean, I think he had bit like about one. We had about 35 moving. A lot more difficult yes. to put together. A lot more skill, a lot more know-how. A little bit more time, a little bit more care and attention. Yeah. All right, but um, we'll see how they shoot. I mean, I don't know how Brad's will go, but uh, we'll give mine a go. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's yeah. go. Righto, so here we are, Westfield, Massachusetts. We're here at a private range. We're gonna put it on paper, see how they shoot. All I heard were excuses yesterday, so. Well, you're gonna hear a few more today as well, I can tell you. <laughs> Snowing, I don't really have a trigger finger, <laughs> all right? There's a global recession on. The guys at Savage had some loophole VX5s in-house, which we've loaded up on these. We've uh, sighted the, the scopes in, and now we're going for 175. It's a bit hazy out there, Brett. Another excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's just bottom left. That's now over on the right. Be good if you just get it in the middle. Bottom right. Yeah, well, I can see that. I just don't want to mention where it is on camera. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. Whoa. <sighs> You want to swap? We'll swap. Yeah, why don't we do that? Are they touching? I think they're touching, mate, yeah. Oh, good shot, mate. Is it touching? Yeah. Well, the good news is I have built an exceptional gun. <laughs> the bad news is I'm not a great shot. <laughs> Well, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, that's pretty close. Three and three. I still think you won though, Brad. I think I might have. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's at 175 yards out of the box. Good optics, great gun, awesome shooters. Yeah. Well, hang on, I might say, you shot that too. I didn't have a bag. <laughs> I shot without a bag, you shot without a bag. I think, look, I can see Brad has been consistently shooting well. He's consistently He's better. The coal barrel, the coal finger. <laughs> the cold air. Cold, <laughs> the cold coal. <laughs> Another excuse. Righto, so we've taken the rifles out to the range, we've shot out to 175, nailed it with those loophole optics. But I'll tell you what we'll do, we're going to head to the loophole factory and we'll build our own. I reckon so. Let's do it. Our founder's son, Marcus Leupold, missed a shot on a, on a black-tailed deer here in Oregon. And after that, he said, you know what? His scope had fogged up and he said, I can do this better. Being dominant means that it's never okay to be just two points ahead in market share or win an award. It's more about never being satisfied, being relentless in terms of what you want to do with your product and your brand. Loophole to me, it's a, you know, it's a brand, a manufacturer, but most importantly, it is a family here in Beaverton, Oregon that's going to produce the best products that will never let you down. We freeze these, we drop these, we dent these, we heat them. We do all of these things, salt fog, military testing, and fully capturing that and fully controlling it internally allows us to capture all of those learnings and keep getting better every single day. And that's what you see with our performance. So we've just come from the Savage factory and we've arrived in Beaverton, Oregon, home of Loophole mm. and Stevens. And here we are, we've finally made it, Brad. They've turned the weather on for us a bit <laughs> cut. I can tell you, it's a bit cut. We've got something really important. You and I are gonna have a bit of a shoot off. Bit of a shoot off. Gonna... We are playing for sheep stations, yeah. my friend. <laughs> and we have got to build ourselves a scope. So have you, what have you been thinking? Well, look, I know I'm a big fan of the VX5 HD. And we're gonna try and shoot out a fair way, aren't we? Well, I'm gonna try and outdo you. Well, I don't, I don't know if that'll be too hard, but no. I'm confident 
and the guys at Loophole to build me a scope, which will help get me right out, out. there. So, hmm. what do you reckon? Let's do it. Let's do it. Good morning, my name is Pete Mo. I'm a product line manager here at Loophold and Stevens. Here at Loophold, uh, we're making uh, what we feel are the best rifle scopes in the world. I totally believe that after 34 years of working here. Our motto is uh, have a lifetime warranty that you'll never need to use. So this is our, our raw material. This would be mostly 6061 T6 aircraft aluminum. Uh, this is an example of an extrusion. That's gonna give you your, your final shape. This is actually gonna be a power selector ring for a uh, very uh, VX5 HD. Oh, this is a one-piece main tube. It's got the three holes on it, so you've got your elevation, your windage, your windage and then you have your uh, side focus or yep. parallax adjustment. So really important to us that it's clear, low, medium, and high magnification. We always want it to be crystal clear. We always want to troll the light, make sure there's good contrast, good color, and the right amount of light coming through. We're an extremely high quality brand, but we're also trying to be a brand that is affordable as yeah, well, you know. And you can buy it, you can give it to your son, you can give it to his yeah. son, he can give it to his grandson. And if there's ever a problem that comes back here, that gold ring is that lifetime warranty. Now we're at the laser area, and we're gonna put the serial number on there with a barcode, various marks on the main tubes as well. Then we do a few other parts in here. Every tool used in assembly is custom made. You can't go buy a part to build a scope anywhere because it's all custom or something very unique. We're gonna submerge these scopes, put a vacuum on there, uh, which will simulate, you know, two ATM or 66 feet deep. And then we're gonna watch for a stream of bubbles. You see a couple here and there, but that's just coming out of little pockets in the objective. And this ensures we never ship a leaker, right? This is our indoor 100 yard rifle range where we can test products. I think we're done. All right, should we head up? Right on, mate, we've just been through the factory. We've seen the scopes being made from billet right to the end. Mm -hmm. Right, so what are we gonna do? So we've decided on the Loophole VX5 HD, three to 15 by 44. I think that'll suit us with the type of shooting we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Where's mine? Uh, well, this is mine. I believe yours was still downstairs on the assembly line. Right, okay, well. Having some fine tuned I modifications. Think, I think Janos is looking after that for me, so right. I, I've yeah. got 100% faith in him. He won't let me down. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to winning tomorrow. So we'll see you out of the range. We'll see. drive out from Beaverton, Oregon, about a 200k, through the snow. We've gone and we've built the guns in the factory at Savage. We've gone to the loophole factory and built our own scopes. scopes. Let's go and see uh, if we can out do who. You're shooting first mate, let's go. It's done. Impact. Perfect. Impact. Well, now we're What's the furthest you ever shot? That. <laughs> <laughs> Only 470 yards. Still no. the longest I've ever shot. Oh, no way. Oh, let's keep going. Let's see how far we can get Yeah. Impact, dead, dead center. Dead center. Oh, Getting there. Impact, right. dead center. I mean, he's right on. He's right on the grapefruit. That's 850 yards. 850. Well done. So where are you going? Over a thousand? Over a thousand, yeah. Impact. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Did you expect anything else? This isn't good. <laughs> well done. That's 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 dead small animal. Yeah. That's yeah. not even big game animal. That, that's dead little. Nice thing. work, but it's a great instruction though. Nah, you did all yeah. the work. I just yeah. stood there. Nice work. <laughs> the day's not over, okay? Well, no. He's done well. He has. What, what did he get to? One, one thousand and four. Maybe we go ten oh five. We'll get you to thirteen. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. All right. Let's have a crack. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wrong target. Wrong target. 
Wrong target again. <laughs> that, was the one, that was one too far. I don't know what I'm doing, all right? <laughs> Just let you know that now. Uh, right. Impact. 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 Yeah. It's a chip, though. A chip? <laughs> it was a chip. Don't, <laughs> don't you have to hit something to chip it? Yeah, yeah. chip's a hit. I think it's even cave. Brad and I have actually shot out to the same uh, distance. i got to say, probably mine wasn't as easy as Brad's because he had a lot of encouragement, but I, I didn't seem to have got that off of mine for some reason. <laughs> so we're gonna just do sudden death now, and if Brad misses this and I get it, I win. But uh, if Brad gets this and I miss it, then obviously Brad won't make the edit. If we both hit it, we keep going. Just off the left edge. Oh, he's missed. You miss. Let's just see what we can do, eh? Oh, you're just off the right edge. <laughs> oh, you're back in. <laughs> Did I see a, <laughs> uh -oh. a hit of disappointment there, man? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I gotta hit this one. <laughs> Boys. Well, here we are, the end of a great day. Brad, you've had a pretty good day. I have. I feel uh, fairly jovial at the moment. Never doubted myself, though. Yeah, well, I just couldn't believe uh, how much help you had from uh, our <laughs> friends from Blue Pulse. So, uh, this was the Savage Ultralight um, Model 110 in the camo. I had the new Impulse Mountain Hunter from Savage, and straight out of the box, nothing done to them. Well, mate, see these uh, packages here? We are going to offer these up for a prize. We are. All right, so stay tuned. Naya TV, we're going to tell you a little bit more about how you could win one of these packages, we're gonna offer both of them and uh, we're gonna draw them at the end of the year. You could get your hands on one of these Savage or the winning gun. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Loophole packages. We look forward to seeing you next time on Naya, Naya TV. TV.